All right, hello everybody. I have today here from Unify, the Pro Max 16 PoE switch. This is uh, one that just came out, just bought it. Here we go on the top side. Here, end, to end. Side to the level for doing some mounting. Um, so this is for when you do uh, mounting. This is just the scale that you have. And then to make it level, there's this level on top. Okay, so we see the back side here. So here it is. At the bottom I have the MAC address. So I'm not gonna show you the bottom, not this time. All right, so obviously we have 16 ports. Over here, the four right ports are 2.5 gigabit speed. And then you also have your SFP uh, ports over here as well. And you got your reset button and obviously you have your standard uh, touch screen here. So you have these openings for the wings. So let's open up the box now. So that's one rack wing it's another one so this uh, poe switch is not uh, rackable um, out of the box because you can see that the width of it isn't gonna fit on a rack however there is an adapter that you can buy to mount it onto um, a rack and then here we have the, the big power brick So, all right, looks like we have some rubber feet. Um, this is, looks like a guitar pick, but it's used to remove the side pieces off um, for uh, mounting um, on a rack. Okay, so then these pieces here, will fit inside once the plastic's off. So they'll slide all the way in and then you'll be able to uh, mount it uh, wherever you want. And then, um, yeah, you have the wing for the other side as well. Okay, so we've covered that. Just have um, mounting kit here. We have a power cable. So 
Unify, we have a power brick of 210 watts. It's quite large. Okay, and then we can see that inserting it for power is here um, in the back. So I removed the plastic off the items the year that came in. Um, so here are the wings. So just set these to the side, the two of them. And then these are the screws uh, that are used to put the wings onto the switch. So up here on the end, and then we also have, this is Ubiquities. looks like a um, guitar uh, pick. So you just take this and then you're gonna just pry open. Um, this would be for uh, the back one. If you were going to uh, put this into a rack, you'd be able to remove that, but I'm just gonna remove this one because we are not gonna be putting this into a rack. Uh, and in fact, actually, I'm, I'm not even gonna be wall mounting this for the location um, where this is gonna go, but I'm just showing you how uh, these all work, so. You have the wing, it's going to slide in, and then you'll be able to use one of the small screws uh, to screw it in, and then tighten it up. I'm just going to leave it off for now, and then you have your um, four screws, um, your installation items here, uh, and then you also have your uh, rubber feet. So I'm actually going to put on the rubber feet uh, for purposes of where this will be installed. All right, we have it all plugged in. Let's turn it on. And we get to see that ether lighting for its startup. And we got about an estimated time of three minutes for boot up. So it has finished. We'll go over here on the touch screen, see what we got. Looks like it's not giving me anything. It's probably just gonna want me to straight up adopt it. Okay, so that's what you get. So even though you try to touch on the screen, try to get some sort of information or configuration, you got nothing. All right, let's take this baby off. And then let's uh, plug it into the UDM Pro Max. All right, so I literally just plugged it in two seconds ago. Uh, you'll see that I'm getting a, a white light um, on that, which signifies two and a half uh, gigabit speed. Um, so that's uh, good to see. Of course, it's a 2.5 gigabit port. And then um, the UDM Pro Max can support uh, those speeds as well. We are now adopting the 16 port Pro Max switch to the UDM Pro Max. All right, so it has finished adopting. It took about five minutes to adopt and then also for it to receive the updates. So I received the updates, it also updated the touchscreen. So now we can select here, okay. Okay, so we have ports 1 through 16, Ethernet, SFP Plus ports 17 and 18. Okay, so you can go into them. You can see that it's down, obviously. Nothing's plugged into it right now. Swiping down brings you back. Go to settings, we can adjust brightness. Here we can select um, the background color. So 
let's just do red for right now. Okay, we can choose to restart it if we want to, and this is just the, the brightness that I want to turn up to 100% for right now. Okay, and then we'll just go back. What do we find up here? We find uplink, um, port speed. Uh, uplink, port um, 16, we can go through here, CPU. Um, we get the temperature, um, the watts in use available. So the whole system can handle 180 watts. So you can decide uh, based upon which port, how much power to send through them. Last seven days, zero. Obviously a brand new unit, 30 days, zero. Uplink one megabyte per second, port 16 as uh, 0.1 megabyte per second as well. Okay, so we've gone all through all those. I went through the ethernet. Okay, so we can see uh, the LAN port um, that we have on it. So this picked up a DHCP uh, IP address, and then I'm going to assign it a static IP uh, for the network. UDM Pro, you can see my gateway. Uh, PoE Plus, 1 through 12. PO Plus Plus, 13 through 16. Time. Okay. All right, so we've already done that. And then just by pushing the center, brings you back just to this uh, stalled um, display. All right, so we've um, opened it um, out of the box. We have uh, plugged it in, powered it on, We've also adopted it to the UDM Pro Max, um, and now we have it ready to um, install. So the last thing that I need to do is just put a static IP on it, and then I can go and replace the switch that it's gonna be replacing. So I'm replacing a Netgear switch that uh, I had just an eight port, and then I'm putting this in here. I don't need 16 ports, but I wanted to um, get this device due to the 2.5 gigabit um, option. Uh, capability and then also the ethernet lighting was kind of nice to see um, and use um, one of these devices so there was just a couple different reasons why I decided to get this and then uh, future proofing as well uh, with 16 ports so that's what we have the Pro Max uh, 16 port switch so please hit that thumbs up and please like and subscribe and have a fantastic day